Does your garage look like this? Oh. This is unacceptable in America. Well, I'm fixing to show you a product that may help you organize some of that fishing crap. Stay tuned. All right, so what we have here, folks, is the uh, Cast King wall-mounted fishing rod holder. I uh, got this off Amazon. Um, it was only 25 bucks, and it's a two-pack. Says each one of the racks can hold up to 15 rods. So if you get this two-pack, that means theoretically you should be able to store 30 rods. Now it's a pretty small piece of a uh, equipment here so that's kind of interesting that they, they say it can hold 30 rods we'll see what's in the box here all right so we have two of the racks themselves then we have two packs of hardware and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys from experience from mounting this thing uh, the hardware they provided uh, was pretty well garbage. Um, you have the option of mounting directly to wood or to drywall with the drywall mounts. And the drywall mounts stripped out, um, the heads on the screws stripped out, no matter how slow I tried to rotate my, my electric screw, screwdriver. Now maybe using a handheld screwdriver would have been better, but I was I had it on the slowest setting and it was still stripping the heads of the screws out. So I actually ended up using some quality drywall mounts that I had laying around and some different screws. As you can see it has three mounting places, three mounting locations to mount it to the wall. So we'll uh we'll dive right into it, get it mounted to the wall and see what it looks like. Alright guys, here it is mounted to the wall in my fishing room, if you will. Uh, it's pretty nifty. Uh, you could stagger the reels so that you can have one rod touching the floor and the other reel you can elevate off the ground a little bit so you can fit more reels into a tight space. And this, this rubber material that's on the rack grips the rods pretty effectively. Um, they're not going to come out of there unless you pull them out of there, you, you know, something like that. Um, here's a, a close-up of the, the rack and how they friction fit in there. Um, again, I was kind of impressed. Um, they're, they're in there pretty good, folks. Uh, they're not going to come out. Um, like I say, they're, they're in there pretty good. But I was still a little concerned. I guess being paranoid that they could just fall out of there. So on mine, I actually made some um, made a minor modification. Um, I drilled a couple of holes, uh, put some screws in there, and then I used just some cheap dollar store bungee cords, and I used those to stretch across the front of the racks, um, as you see here. And uh, that definitely will keep the rods from ever falling off of there accidentally. Uh, I already mentioned the hardware being garbage. Uh, you're going to have to get some better hardware to mount it. Unless yours comes with better stuff than what mine had. Um, another issue I found with the rack is it cannot hold really big heavy duty saltwater equipment. Um, all of your freshwater equipment... Um, light medium saltwater equipment no problem it's going to be able to hold those but a uh, really big thick heavy saltwater boat rods trolling rods uh, thick surf rods it's not going to go in there so I, I keep my other wooden rod rack right there to be able to mount those types of rod and reels so far pretty impressed with how simple how inexpensive and how effective it is. Uh, we'll see how well it holds up going forward. But uh, if you got a bunch of rod and reels laying around, um, this might be an option you'll look at for, like I say, 25 bucks. You are able to put, you know, at least two dozen rods into a small corner, a small section 
um, wherever you like to store your, your equipment. So I'll put a link in the description to the actual product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, new channel, need all the help we can get. Thanks again for watching. Good luck out there on the water.